you're gonna be alright. Just a Yeah, I know how you talk. Just like a, your mind gonna get the clicking. Just a psh. We good go. Okay. Okay, we got the pop it already, but okay. <laughs> I just know it's my wife is a good one because I know how you're going to respond to it. What was it about? Don't worry about it. I'll tell you what we started. I know. I got to start. I know. But I'll tell you the topic. Okay. I know you have some fun. Well, you've been doing a great job. Okay. I won't um, bring it to the forefront this time. Oh, my gosh. Good. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Will you be good? No. I don't know how to be good. Hey, y'all. Uh, welcome to <laughs> another episode of Pillow Talk with. T and Tay. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I'd be good and wouldn't say nothing, but he did good again. I'm sorry. I provoked that one, y'all. He just did. to see if she's going to retain I'm her sorry. She couldn't do it. I knew it. But welcome back, you guys. And it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, today's topic, I'm going to. You don't know the topic, y'all. I know the topic. I just can't remember it just like that right now because what she was doing, I was messing with it so hard, I was in there and it worked. But I remember the topic though. It's your podcast that we own. What? It's ours, not mine. It is ours. Based on your platform. Oh, we're going to see the national TV. This... Man, you can't do that nowadays. Who saw? That is not no. It's not yeah. a rule style, no. Yeah. That's a no-no song. Why? <laughs> Why is it a no-no song? Man. What you gonna do? I need to roll on with the top before pillows fly. <laughs> you better pillow fly me, yeah. Pillows fly. You cannot okay. be throwing pillows. No matter how soft they are. You just cover my mouth. Yes. Did you not know bite me? No, I do. Like nothing on my mouth, man. Other than oh this. my gosh. Okay, anywho, back to Pillow Talk with T and Tay. Thank y'all for joining us again today. <laughs> um <clears throat> Yeah. We appreciate you guys for tuning in today yes, and please. all the episodes that you have watched. We truly appreciate you guys. Um and remember, don't forget to leave comments in the comment section so we can address them with you guys. And if we get enough comments and we'll do a segment of just answering your questions and responding to your comments kind of like put it out there so everyone can understand and know um your viewpoints on things and just share share and share like and we do love the calls as well it's okay we we're just kidding about that but uh yes. it's really interesting definitely. <laughs> definitely definitely continue to connect with us and yeah. let us know how we can help in any way yeah. um with whatever situation it may be um we're well, that's what we're here for. Yeah. Share our viewpoints on different things and then to kind of help you help address different things with you guys as they come up as you have questions for them. Um, but today's topic balancing marriage and parenting. How do you balance the time with the two to ensure that you're giving adequate time for parenting and marriage? What to? It's it, it just a day by day thing to me. I don't see a way to really put a time frame on it. Uh, it it's it's called life. Uh, you know, if you have children, it's it's life. If it, if it's not parenting and you just have couples, it's life. Mm -hmm. Things come up. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. There's no way to put a time frame on it. You just, you know, try to do your self help as far as going to bed at a decent hour. But okay. let's, let's, let's face it, yeah. life happens and some things can go into some late hours because you're trying to help the individual with whatever is that they're going through. And uh, the balance, I just, I'm interested to hear this myself because I, oh, so it's on me to get, get if, that if problem. you have an answer I, for I, it, I, I, a solution. I, I really, I want to know that one myself. Is I don't have a solution for it, but okay. I know that we've done well with balancing hours. Mm -hmm. um, there have been times where we've had some longer nights and days yeah. and different things because um, there's just things that you just can't, you know, address and brush away. Yeah. Um, but what, what my, um, how we've done it, um, we make sure we make time for each other. Uh, we continue to date each other because our children will grow up yeah. one day and all move away. Right now we have 
um, four grown children and one wow. one that's under the age of 12 at home. So we're almost empty nesters. So when we get to the point to where there are no children in the house, we want to make sure that we still know how to date one another. We want to make sure that we still know how to, you know, uh, love on one another and not just focus on things that we have to do for the children. So our focus is making sure that we spend time with each other and we continue to learn more about one another and we continue to date each other because we want to still know how to do that when the kids are gone. We travel with each other. Uh, we make sure we make time for that. And then on the flip side, we don't neglect our kids by always being gone away from them, dating and, and, and you know, just focusing on us. We want to make sure we make time for them to where we're taking them places, you know, and getting into things that they like doing. If it's sitting down playing a board game with them because they want to play a board game or play cards with them or uh, do hair, do nails, do makeup. Or if it's outside playing uh, in the yard or taking them to the park and being at the park, getting on the swing set with them. Or, um, you know, even just having a talk with them because it just needed to talk on the phone with you for our adult kids and things like that. And just walking them through different situations. Yeah. You know, and that's where I was going with it. Yeah. That's where I thought you were going with it because, you know, even even if they're non adult, even if they're teenagers, even mm -hmm. if it's a niece and nephew, you never know, you know, the degree of conversation and how long it's going to take mm -hmm. to get, you know, a good understanding of where they're coming from, where you're coming from, and trying to find a happy medium. Mm -hmm. And it pulls away in that day. And to find that balance, it, 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 sometimes it's, it's a challenge, and you really have to work at it, as you're saying. I get mm -hmm. that, but uh, I would say um, definitely setting the boundaries. Um, you're going to have situations where your your kids are going to have situations that come up, uh, but you've got to make sure, like he said, you're taking care of yourself in the process of this. As they're going through the things they're going through, definitely have the emotions and deal with it with them, but don't allow it to overly consume you because at that point you're no good for them because you've now taken on their emotions their feelings about what's going on versus being able to be um a parent that can be in support of them yes you're not um invalidating their feelings because you're not taking on and starting to feel the same way they do completely about what's going on but you're allowing them that emotion you're acknowledging that emotion you're acknowledging how they're feeling about what's going on and then you're finding a different way to um, address it to help them to come up out of whatever they're dealing with or how to tackle the situation that may come versus um, getting in, in it with them, you know, diving, deep diving into that with them. You're you're keeping your stance and your boundaries when it comes to that and not allowing yourself to get stuck in the mud with them, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Good to me. Okay. Um, but, yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you can find a good balance um, but that's something that takes work. As a parent, when you're first starting out, when you have a baby, um, you find yourself so engulfed with this little bitty infant and you just want to make sure that infant is taken care of it. You know, every whimper you want to run at it or, you know, you got to feed, you got to clothe, you got to bathe. But then you also don't want to lose yourself in that. Because a lot of times we as women and men as well, we lose sleep. We lose intimate time with our mate when we have a little one because we're so so. This is some a new natural. I mean, a new normal now that we're having to adjust to. But the goal is to make that adjustment and to find the way to balance the time with the baby to get that time with the baby, but then also find the time for each other because a lot of times some marriages pull apart because you don't find that balanced time with each other. Oh, that's good. You don't find that balance time because, you know, you're so engulfed in parenting. Yeah. And even, I would say, uh, some grandparents, uh, because they they had that break in between. Mm -hmm. So they became empty nesters again, and then they all of a sudden have grandbabies. Mm -hmm. And so they're pouring all this energy into the grandbabies where they even forgot about how to have that couple relationship mm -hmm. that my wife mentioned earlier. And so you, you got to, you know, realize that, you got to remember how it was before and then be able to, as my wife said, sh balance that, that time. With yeah, them. adjust to that, that new normal. That new normal and then allow them their time, but then also set the boundary for them and mm -hmm. to give your, your mate the equal time that they need. Yeah. I, I hear that. Yeah. And then as they get older and they get involved in activities and things like that, when you've got three and four kids um, and each of them are doing something different, you 
Um, and what we had to do as they got older and they started to get involved, we had to split the time, oh, you know, because we both couldn't be at all four places at the same time. <laughs> Um, or all three places, yeah, four because even the little ones, everybody was, going through that. <laughs> even the you little get, one, it gets better, yeah, it gets better. Even Ooh. the little one was involved in something, yeah. so we were at different places. And to where our night sometimes, you know, went all the way to nine o'clock during the week, and we came mm -hmm. in and sometimes 10, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah or later. Um, <laughs> but we would come in and it would be time to just go to bed, but you don't want to not have time because you want to still check in yeah. and see how was your day today yeah. and really try to get a little bit of pillow talk in before calling it a night even though you spent a long all day with you know the kids ripping and running with them you don't want to allow yourself to get so engulfed in what their activities are that you lose or miss the communication and then becomes a communication gap between you guys <coughs> excuse me so that I mean I think that's the, for me how we balanced it is is we we made sure we split the time with the kids. Sometimes we're able to all be together, um, but we explain to the children, okay, we're gonna come, mom's gonna come to this set, and dad's gonna do this set, and then next time we'll flip it, and then if it's something that's not on the same exact night because it happened a lot where they happened to be on the same night just yeah. at different times, um, but you know we had to figure it out. But when they weren't on the same night, we all were there in support. Yeah. Of one another. Now, did we make it to every game that they played? No, we couldn't make it to every game. But um, we tried to make it to you know as many of the choir competitions and drama uh, plays and uh, games as many as we could because it was we still had to work. We still had to you know get home together and all of that to where it just wasn't always feasible. And we had to make sure we were okay with that. And it wasn't that we were neglecting our kids because we couldn't come. We were just making sure we were doing taking care of ourselves right. in the process and not overly um, consuming ourselves with everything that's going on. Right. I'm not saying don't support your kids. I'm no. saying be mindful of the strain that it can cause on you as well if you're trying to be everywhere at one time. You got to find a balance. Yeah. You got to find a balance exactly. in order for it to uh, to to keep in order for you to stay healthy. First of all. And in order for you to be able to still manage your marriage and then also parenting, you got to find that balance that's going to work for everybody. Our situation may not work for everybody else's, but this is what helped ours and what worked for us to make sure we were as present as possible um, at where we could be without, you know, driving ourselves insane, ripping around town in the winter months, in the snow, you know, with our kiddos. Um, but we, we did, we, we did our, we, I feel like we did our best with, Oh, balancing man. that out and we're still you know doing it but you're learning something new every day because every child is different and every child gets into different activities and are about different things some are more active than others um it's about just um like embracing your child where they are and trying to be as supportive as you can where they are but still keeping your your time for you keep your time for your mate and then still giving them time as well yeah. I feel like that helps to balance it. Well said. Okay. Well said. <laughs> I, th I think that's well said. Okay. I, I love that wife, that analogy. Yeah. I don't think, you know, for me, I just don't feel like you should, you know, be so, be, you can't, there's a way to balance it. You can easily be a parent that's always right there in the kid's face at everything they got going on, but then that's causing your marriage to suffer. Or you can be the parent that's always gone. Or your individual self. Or your individual self. Or you can be the parent that's always gone with your mate, never going to anything with your kids. And then that's where the relationship with the children suffer. Yeah. So finding that balance is what's going to help you to be able to um, be able to um, have that balance that's necessary to make sure you're meeting the needs of everyone. Yeah. Um, will some of them feel as though you should come more here and there? Yeah. Always. But, I mean, you're never going to make everybody completely happy and it's never going to be exactly perfect, but a balance is going to help it um, be workable. I feel like it'll help it be workable. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay. I agree. Okay. Any other thoughts on that? No. Because I said a mouthful. Yeah, you did. Now you, and I left the platform open for you because I need you to address that one because <laughs> it was one of those that I really didn't understand that so how you could really do it easily is no I don't see no real easy way of doing it. 
it's, again, it's uh, still, you just hope that you have that communication. One of the things I believe in relationship is very valuable is to have the communication. As long as you have the communication in there, then these things won't fall by the wayside. You will have that in place and you'll know where everybody is and how everybody's feeling. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. Definitely communicating, Good you topic. know, even communicating with them and making sure they understand, you know, yeah. hey, this is what's going to happen. So it's not to where you they're um, anxiously waiting for you to show up and you right. never do. Right. You communicate with them ahead of time, let them know, hey, this is what's going to happen tonight yeah. or today in ABCD, but we're going to definitely make it an effort to be here, here, here for the next one. Exactly. You know, just making sure you are making that time, but then you still have those boundaries in place to keep the balance. Exactly. I mean, yeah. that's, this is again, our viewpoints on that and how we feel that it has helped our relationship, our marriage and our parenting with our children. Um, but again, we ain't perfect. Ain't nobody perfect when it comes to it. We learn, uh, we still learn in new methods and new ways every day to make it happen, make it work. But over the years, this is something that's helped, that has helped us along the way. Exactly. So, exactly. That's all I got on that topic. Yeah, same here. That's okay. all I have. <laughs> okay. Thanks again for watching and hope all everyone stays safe and any comments you may have, please, uh, Tag us and Leave let us know. know. And uh, everyone have a safe day and safe relationships. Yeah. Safe family. Yeah. <laughs> and good relationships. Yeah, definitely. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your cousin, tell your daddy. <laughs> hug your children. <laughs> yes, hug your children. Share yeah. some love. That may be their love language, yeah. physical touch. So yeah. definitely. And even if it isn't, Still hug it, it, it makes a difference. You do. You don't have to overdo it, but time and time. And look at who's talking about it. So look at it, y'all. This is a good touch rubbing off, baby. All right. All right. That's all we got for today. All right. We thank you guys again for tuning in for Pillow Talk with, with T and Tay. Yes. Um, we'll catch you guys next week on another episode. Yep. You guys have a good one. Yep. We'll Bye. See. <laughs> the Dang. devil is a lie. Dang, no, you didn't. <laughs> well, goodness, <laughs> this will be what we'll do, sir. <laughs> Help me, y'all. Help me. I don't want to know. <laughs> Why? Why must she be? And they think it's just it's just me. Now it's you two. You two over here. Over here being honorary. That's all it is. Ah. Mm -hmm. Never that. I broke my nail. Dang, time went off. I don't think y'all sorry. Y'all just going to be far away. Nail lesson. Nail gave up on me. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> My nail left me. Gave up on me. Couldn't handle it no more. Hard on it. <laughs> <laughs>